Welcome back to Match Fishing TV UK. You join me on my first match in ages. It's been ages, and I've drawn a really lovely peg. I've fished this peg a few times before, and I'm looking forward to what today brings. I've seen loads of fish on the top, so I've got a three pronged approach today. Um, pretty standard for me. I've got a bomb and pellet, which I started off on, so we've just had the all in. I've got uh, a method to go a little bit longer if the fish pull out a bit and I've got a pellet waggler rod um, just to search around so there's a few areas here that um, I've seen fish at the top I think pellet waggler could actually come into its own today so it's going to be exciting stick with me another one on. It's just the battle to keep them away from all these snags on here. Extremely snaggy swim. This feels like a good fish as well. Been foul hooked. Okay, that's one in the net, two lost. So I've got two and a quarter hours left and yeah, not not going great to be honest. Struggling to get bites now. I've kind of cycled through all the methods I'm using and it's uh, it's really dried up. Just been having a go with a bomb and wafter. 
So it's probably going to be back out onto the pellet waggler for a little bit. Might give the method another look. In terms of the pellet waggler setup, it's um, it's really really easy. I've got a couple of rubber line stops, swivel, pellet waggler, so I can change them. Couple below, quick change swivel, 18 inch uh, hook length, which is a Guru QW1 hook, and I'm using a size. 14 at the moment and I am using hard pellets so 8 mils at the moment because I'm after big boys and for the first hour worked pretty well but then I've lost a couple and I think I've spooked the entire swim which is a shame because um, that was plan A today I have been baiting up another little swim just in front of me here kind of an emergency swim if you like because um not swim sorry peg i keep doing that in my videos a peg no a swim it is a swim this is what today's doing to me i'm going absolutely mental um another swim just in front of me here uh i can fish maggots over that if i need to i might get a few bonus silvers so match is done. I've had a bit of a mare, to be honest, uh, even down to the cameras running out of battery. Uh, sorry, memory. Uh, one of those, I've had a carp. I've had loads of missed uh, fish. I've lost two. It's been a bit of a struggle. Uh, lovely swim. I'll show you the swim in a sec. Um, and the surrounds. It's absolutely beautiful. But I don't know what the anglers next to me have done, so I'm going to take a wander and, and decide whether it's worth weighing in. I think, it, lucky if I've got maybe eight pounds. Sometimes if the lake fish is bad in general, that could be enough to be worth weighing in because it's um, today every four pegs. So I don't know what the pegs next to me have, have, have performed like, so I'll go and have a wander and try and suss it out. But yeah, quite disappointing. It's nice to be out, it's been five months since I've last done a match. Um, I had loads scheduled in to do and just home and work and stuff like that. Kept cancelling um, every opportunity I had to do a match. So nice to get out, if for nothing else. If you said to me at the beginning of the day I, I would have drawn this peg, I would have absolutely you know, jumped for joy because I love this peg. It's a fantastic uh, peg. I've fished it lots and lots of times. So, you know, that kind of negates the five months without match fishing thing. You know, I know what I'm doing on this peg. I set up well. Um, so yeah. Right, so I'll give you a quick tour of the peg uh, that was on today. So, this is me. So I've got the little setup there nice um got the new four-wheel transporter well not it's not new but it's new to me um i've also started using these aquos uh, rod sleeves so i'm keeping my rods made up that makes a huge difference so setup was good today and if you look out there like lovely peg loads of snags so i lost quite a few carp through those lilies in the middle because if you don't get control of them in the first second, they're just gone bosh in the middle. Um, but next to my peg, this is the interesting thing. So what I think happened today is I lost a couple. It went quiet over the lake, to be honest. I've just spoken to the pegs next to me. I think we've all kind of scratched around and got next to nothing. But I think once the carp are switched off, next to my peg is that and it's sort of about 20% of the lake that's unfishable. So they've got a lot of cover to run for if they don't fancy being out in the open, unfortunately. Thank you.